got a picture on it. So if you're not sure, the front page of the book tells you what it means. That's the park brake. And it, it's just a park brake. It's not really for brakes because it's hydrostatic. So when you're going forwards, you go slow. The further you go on the pedal, the faster you'll go. And then reverse. Mm -hmm. So if you're not pushing forward or back, it will just stay where you are. Yeah. And that's the brake, and that locks the brake on. Yeah. So a little mm -hmm. catch there. So that's so you the don't brake. Need to use a brake. No, yeah. not really. Not unless you want to stop on the hill and not move at all. Mm -hmm. You want to park it and not move at all. That's what you do. So um, steering control just yeah. there. Good. Seat slides forward and back as well as so we'll catch under here. So you can see what mm -hmm. size you are. And then um, there's cruise control, you probably won't use that. That locks the pedal on. When it's going, it holds it on. So the what street. do you do? Just pull it down? Yeah, yeah, it touches there. Yep, push down to lock yeah. it on. Over here we've got lights. Um, most of your controls for your driving side are here. So you've got low range, mm -hmm. neutral, high range. Mm -hmm. So you use low range if it gives you enough top end speed. So if you're in low and you get your revs on that you need on your throttle and your pedals less pull forward but you're going fast enough great but if you can't get enough speed then you stop change to oh, high range yeah. and use high range mm -hmm. it's like a car yep. if you only need your first gear use first gear. Okay. same deal so don't use high range if you're on a little slow work because you'll hear a bump rah, 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 far better and right mm -hmm. these are the two remote outlets so there's a hydraulic top link coming so it hasn't arrived yet they will plug in it'll plug into here So that's, the work then? that's that's to adjustable top link here, so you can adjust the height cut height by adjusting these levers to some degree, oh. fine tune it. Right. But the main lift and lower is by this. So this lever here, when I put it down, it will let both the mowing deck down and that. You can see how they're going down together, and that speed is controlled by how fast this is. So if I turn that fast, it'll go faster. So you can adjust the let down speed. Fuel, so it's diesel, so you fill up there through your diesel filler. There's a little locker here that locks out that control lever. It's ultra low sulfur diesel. Yeah. Diesel. Yep. That's what we have here in Is Australia. That, oh, so it's just diesel. Yep. Um, yep. And this one here, when you turn the ignition on, you can see that little switch. You can see how it's on? Now mm -hmm. it's off. Mm -hmm. When it's on, Started up so I can start. It'll grab won't work and yeah. it's that. Mm -hmm. So and it's yeah, touch it like I did then, it's off. Yeah. So it's not working you think? Yeah, yes. check that. <laughs> check that. <laughs> Four wheel drive, you can see it's connected together. Two wheel drive, it's got a separation brake. Okay. So that's four you use four a lot of the time, but two wheel drive around your house where you want to turn tight, you don't want to scuff it up the ground. Yeah, okay. So you select what you need mm -hmm. um, generally. Seat belt, so you click your seat belt in. Yeah. These fold up and down yeah. as you need to. Yeah, well, not much point in roll front without seat belt because you get thrown out there and it's squash up. So seat belt, yeah, always, <laughs> always, especially in these little things because they go quick. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> brakes will add his on. <laughs> he drives so, it on the hill, though. Yeah. So we load the car. So when it's up like that, you don't get on these because there's only hydraulics holding it up. Little safety brace here in red. That goes over top of there. Yep. Clips on. Yeah. Well, it's just it's sort of sand size. You can see how you can let that down to there if you need to. Often you leave it up so you don't bang your head on stuff that you're doing there, but yeah. it so can only come that far. No, never. 
Never. Never. Because if a hose breaks, it'll crash to the ground and lightning speed. So it'll take well, anything in the hydraulic system fails, that goes crashing to the ground. And if well it's brand new it might be fine, but this might get squashed by a log or something and damaged, you know, and it, it could be just ready to break. So, um, so with that up there you're relatively safe. So this grill guard folds forward to allow the bonnet opener here to fold up so you can get in servicing. Just watch your head, it's one that you do have to watch. Engine oil dipstick here, um, an air cleaner and radiator fluid coolant. So you see the levels are marked high and low in there. The air intake in this motor comes from, it's a reverse engine really, it sucks air from here and the air goes that way. Mm -hmm. So screens through the front here, yeah. but then there's this pull out screen as well. So a fine screen, so keep it check on this. If you notice your temperature's getting hot at all and above half, um, check there's no grass on here, but also stop and pull and check that. And it may be just working too hard, you might be yeah. working track too hard and in the hot day you might be causing it to run hot, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's important to check on that screen. Yeah. The battery's in behind here, so just, just fix that in there to get yourself into there. It's pretty like battery. quite <laughs> convenient though, isn't Everything's it? Everything's like, very easy. Really yeah. The Doesn't book also that shows you step by step, picture by picture, every single thing I'm showing you. So don't be too concerned about having to remember everything. Because the book's good reference. I'll draw the phone so we'll just check out that side. Oh, Shane wants to get a big one. Yeah, he's, he's, no, he's talking big. <laughs> no, I'm not going around. No. He really didn't want to get this tractor. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a tractor, it's yeah, a, it's a lawnmower. Right. <laughs> They're a magic <laughs> thing to have though. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. but you know what, you'll do so much stuff around the house with it. Yeah. Because it's so convenient. So that's when you open that, did you notice before how you pull that up? Unlock. And then fold your little front piece back up. Mm -hmm. So there's three oils really, so you've got the engine oil there shaped with the dipper. You get your dip oil here, front dip, so it's got a little dipstick on there. That guy. And then there's a the hydraulic oil for the runs all the hydraulics and stuff. Yeah. And um And how often have you got to change it's them? At the back. Um the book tells you but the engine every two hundred, but the hydraulics I think every four hundred. Okay. It might be even six hundred. And the filler and dipstick for the hydraulic oils at the back. It's got levels on it. Let's check that it's so clear. I can see it on there, but it's very like water. It's very clear. So that goes to there. Um, there's nothing much under here. It just lets you get into access under the seat. Yeah. People fold that up so rats and dogs and stuff don't sit on the seat mm -hmm. and wreck it. Yeah. Fair so enough. Keep sun and rain off it. Maybe. Just put a clip that lets it up. So while we're at the back here, so this is where the hydraulic um, top link will hook in. So it'll pop it into there. Um, and it replaces this, this link here. But you've got three point linkage. It's when you lift up and down, this is what lifts it. When you use your mower, the catcher, the catcher, these arms here, that pin there will come out and will hook onto there. It'll come out and hook onto there. So, um, that's the one difference between catcher and and three-point linkage. The catcher doesn't lift up and down. It's just carried behind you. And that is the height that needs to be, so they hook onto those mounts to, to keep it right hot. With these PDOs, they've got a, you press in the middle and unclips those red clips. You push in the middle to unclip it. It comes back, so you've got room. That folds up so you can get in there. There's a little pin there to take your PDO shaft off. So you need to grease that every 20 hours. Both there, you pull this right apart and you grease the inside sleeves here too. It just, I can't pull it off in here, I don't think. It won't come right apart, it's not enough room with it on the tractor. So, where's that linkage go? Doesn't it, just... it hooks on, yeah, well, it won't fit on this. We tried to, it wouldn't fit, but that was the idea. Yeah, Land Pride Quick Hitch, yeah. It doesn't fit these implements. No, but what it does fit when, so this here, where this hooks straight onto this mulcher, 
the quick hitch hooks onto there and it's supposed to just hook up under these mulcher pins. But the top heights and everything don't suit, they're different. So you can have a play around with it. That's, That's the, the operator's manual for the mulcher. mulcher. Hi. When you take the mulcher off, there's a little leg here. Take it out. And you put it down there. So that you can take your arms off. Yep. Pretty good, isn't it? I've got so much. about everything. Yeah. This is German design yeah. stuff, this stuff. So And Japanese there. So both of them pretty, pretty good with all the technical stuff. It's just really heavy stuff, so you can't kind of lift it without. Yeah, they're not too bad. These are. Not too bad. <laughs> I just. They're not really, it sort of moves around quite yeah. easily to fit it on. Yeah, even you'll be able to deal with that easily. Take the safety brace out and let that down. Yeah, it says. 12 volt thing in here too. So if you need to charge your phone, ah. little tool compartment you can plug it in. The dash reads everything you need to know when you turn it on. The, the 540 there, that yellow mark, that's the maximum speed for running your mowing deck and your um, three point linkage implements. So they always have 540 marked and there'll be a picture on the mulcher that will say 540 as well somewhere. So, what, so that's red, that's is the it? the speed they're designed to run at. Ideally, um, PDA. So that is that what speed you meant to run yes. it at? Yeah, close oh, to oh, it. Okay. Yeah, or on that, but not yeah. above it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 540 is oh. recommended, and it's what they're designed to run at. Mm -hmm. There's four main greasing points on the mulcher, other than the PDA shaft. So you've got the universes and the grease there, yep. but there's the rotor bearing, the roller bearing, there's a nipple here too, both marked. Mm -hmm. The other end has the same, but. The rotor bearing is actually piped up because it's down within here, so it's piped to the outside where you can get to it. And that so how often do you have to do that? Um, again, every 20 hours, just one or two pumps. The operator's manual tells you. <laughs> okay. There's also belts in here, so that's got a slot there, and you put weight on there, and that should deflect less than gravity tells you um, less than 10 millimeters with six kilos of pressure put on it. So you fill the belt and then you push on it. And they should only deflect a little bit. And that's enough without having to take off the seat. Okay. <laughs> Gearbox, got oil in it. So yeah. and he'll know all this stuff too, but it's got a level plug there halfway. Then there as well, you can see there. So that's the level. So put it at the top and fill through there. I don't take level parts out, I actually dip, dip them through the top of the cable tie something half level yeah. rather than taking them back out of the way. It needs to be It needs to be changed okay. from time to time. It tells you how often. Mm -hmm. You should do it every couple of years. Couple of years, yeah, okay. Alright, oh, um, okay. Yeah, all your off road manners here. So we've got one for the front end loader. Yeah. That particularly tells you about ballast and counterweight. So when you're lifting something, uh, make sure you have some weight at the back to counterweight. Um, yeah, otherwise it'll tip over, will it? Yep. Otherwise it won't be nice. Then you've got... Um, it doesn't have the same racks as anything on the back. Yep. He used to go around with his um, backhoe. Backhoe. Thingy. But the backhoe is quite dangerous because it's so high and heavy. Mm. It's not a good counterweight because it's so high. <laughs> it's not at all. And that's the one for the grass catcher. And this is the operator's manual for the tractor itself. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so. It's like all these um, nice little containers. Yeah, like, everything's, yeah. It's all sort of. Yeah. Driving along in the paddock. Quick, get the manual out. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. First little bit of it. Look it up. So. I'm in an accident. I'm rolling. Yeah. What do I do? <laughs> Run. <laughs> so it covers all three. So you, this is the 2680. Yeah. So you open this through, see so the first page has all the stickers on the tractor and tells you what they mean. So if you see something there and you're not sure, check that out first. Mm -hmm. And then 
all that tells you about all this, all those yellow pages are your safety um, information and stuff. So read through that, it'll tell you about you know, yeah. safety about tractor, seat belts, PDA shafts, you know, all that sort of stuff that can be dangerous. Good. Um, so this tells you about safe operation, servicing, mm -hmm. um, which you come right through, pre-operation checks. Show us PDO operation, three point linkage, hydraulics, mm -hmm. maintenance and service intervals. It's page 70. So you need to read through all that to get a bit of an idea. It's what I've gone over with you, but. Yeah, okay. Maintenance and service intervals on page 70. Easy to follow. So, the indication on the hour meter at 50 hours is the first services, and it's engine oil, engine filter. Hydraulic oil filter, um, and that's all. So, and then 200 hour intervals for the engine, and hydraulics will tell you hydraulic filter every 200 hours too, and hydraulic fluid every 400 hours, and then a few other checks. So you just follow this. And so, so, how, so where's the hour thing? Is that on there? Yeah, on the dash. So the hour meters and a little turn ignition on there. So your hours, it's currently 1.9. And the next page shows you what oils and lubricants are in it and how much, what type. And then the next pages beyond that show you how to do the service. So how to open the bonnet. It's all in there. And for warranty we have to get it serviced by... I recommend that a Kubota dealership should... Yeah. You must have... Um, you should have a um, Kubota dealership do it. Awesome and competent. So buy Kubota filters because they're the right micron size. I reckon important to use the right filters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but um, beyond that, yeah, we have to check this anyway. Some people do service their own um, because they're, they're confident. But the warranty book that says it should be serviced by okay. the motor dealership or yeah. someone who we're free. So we just need to approve someone to do it. Yeah, right, okay. So that's all. And so that's, um, what else have you got to do with that? Just that tube. 